Welcome to the Long Beach City College Hall of Champions. More than an award, it serves as a monument to some of the greatest to ever compete as Vikings. One of the things that pleases me the most is to, to know that all of our past athletes can come into this, this beautiful historic gymnasium and walk into this like a museum and it brings back tremendous memories. Initial conversations had to be with uh, Dr. Beverly O'Neill because we already, the college had a Hall of Fame and in that Hall of Fame we had uh, 11 great past uh, athletes from City College. And so I suggested to her we create a Hall of Champions. And so she went ahead and, uh, and, and blessed that and we began. The foundation uh, came in with matching funds and we had about 80 original donors. Uh, uh, two or three of the, the more major ones were Dr. Castro Barr, our longtime team doctor, uh, and uh, Sam Hernandez, who was very involved here in facilities. Uh, and so they were two of our major, major donors. So that gave us the the money that we needed to do the build out uh, to get the building to where it is now. Long Beach City College from 1927 on were noted as state champions, national champions, and so we have this tremendous legacy and we felt uh, by um, highlighting uh, athletes who have gone on to be successful in their careers, um, not necessarily in athletics, but in life, that to highlight them would be an inspiration to our students. Uh, the original um, servers at the, at the meal were students, so that they got to see these people, uh, many of them icons in our city. And uh, so that was the uh, initial idea in, in 2002. You know, there are really a couple things that put a smile on my face when I reflect on the meaning of tonight's ceremony. Uh, one is the legacy of the Hall of Champions, and specifically, tonight's ceremony indicates that the college really still cares about the people who have passed through that hall because they really represent the best of what Viking athletics is all about. Hard work, uh, talent, dedication, excellent academics, and good citizenship. Great people up on those walls. I think one of the special things about the, uh, our Hall of Champions is uh, a, a real nice display of the plaques of our past inductees and currently we have about 175 that we've inducted and we've got a, a, a big inventory of many more to consider because we've had tremendous success through the years uh, with people and so uh, I'm proud of all of these plaques that are displayed on the walls where people can come and with each photo there's a little uh, description of what they contributed athletically to Long Beach City College. It also serves as a role model for our current students because uh, we have all different kinds, of, from the very beginning, we have very diverse diversity uh, on our athletic teams. And so uh, kids can come in here, current students come in here and look at the pictures and say, oh wow, look at basketball state champions, football national champions, swimming Olympic champions, and they can really be motivated to see how successful uh, we have been in the athletic program. Everybody will be able to relate to what's in this hall. It has a great history, nearly 100 years as an institution at Long Beach City College. And for those individuals who grace the halls and future student athletes who will grace the halls, it's going to remain something very special. We can have our past uh, uh, athletes, our alumni, visit this campus, walk in here, and reflect back on the, the great memories uh, they've had. They can see their, their teammates. Maybe they're not, up, they're not displayed up here, but they know they were a part of that person's success and that team's success. Because this not only uh, focuses, this hall not only focuses on individuals, but there's uh, banners hanging around that reflect upon teams. And so for every year that's put up there for a team championship, state championship, there's probably 20 or it could be 60 or 70 on a football team that can say, I'm up there, I'm part of this. And so I think it's a, a, a very 
nice place. I, I would like to think that these athletes will visit with their kids and their grandkids and say, here, look at this. And uh, that just brings me uh, a great joy.